Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Bud, what were you telling Kel Brook on stage? I don't give a fuck how much he fill up to or he thinks he's gonna be massive. I said, I'm gonna fill up too. You know, all this uh, stuff that he's talking about, he's about to gain weight. Okay, we both about to gain weight. What, what did that mean? So, in other words, he started out by telling you, because he's always been a very big welterweight, and, in fact, his last three fights took place at junior middleweight, he started out by saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to be bigger than you. Like, how did that beef start just now? <laughs> he talked about, uh, uh, I told him to make the weight. He made the weight. Now he's going to fill up and... I know I'm in a tough fight. You know? I said, I don't care about none of that that you're talking about. I'm going to fuck you up tomorrow. Yeah. We are on, um, we're not on premium pay cable, Terrence. I know you, you're bad, in a fight. I'm, I'm, he got get, me a little irritated. You got it. You're, you're in a fighting mood. I get it. I ne you never hold, listen, for anyone out there watching, when there's a weigh-in, you never hold a fighter's attitude against them. They have been, and don't take anything they say. I won't take anything you say to me right now personally, bud, because they are in a fighting mood, and they've been starving themselves. And there's Kel Brook. Um, Terrence, Kel Brook, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. What just, so, so Bud just told us that you started out by saying you were going to have a size advantage by ballooning up in weight after you just made the weight, and that he told you he doesn't care. How did that start, according to you, that beef we just saw on stage? I don't think I started off by saying what size I'm going to blow up to. I think we were talking between, before that. You know, and I just I just brought that in. I'm a naturally bigger fighter, guy than him. He's wore he's wore these Air, Air Force uh, threes, I believe, all week, <laughs> and uh, to to give yourself a bit a bit an inch or two extra. I'm a naturally bigger guy. Come from lightweight up to welterweight. I've campaigned at middleweight, light middleweight. I'm a naturally bigger guy. You know, so. But I don't give. I, I don't. I don't. Care. I don't. I know what you don't. You, care. You don't you matter. Five nine. I'm five eight. You, what, yeah, what does it matter? Yeah, it don't matter. But listen, <laughs> you know these weight categories for a reason. You're gonna. Um, you're gonna feel. You know, listen. You know you're that. You're in my weight class now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're in my weight class. This is my weight class. This is you know, my weight class. Yeah, you started off lighter than this, so it this, don't matter. This is, well, this is your weight class now. This has always right. been my weight class. You're right. This so, is my weight class now. When I entered it, it's mine. It's oh, mine. Right, yeah. It's, it's what, mine. For whatever. The like it said. Like it says. Whatever it is, it is. We both won't. We both weighed on the championship limit. We're gonna replenish, refuel, and then the fans are in for a real, a real firework night. That's all I can say. Let's I'm go. ready, you know. Terence is ready. Let's lay it on the line, you know. All, all, all I can say is the fans are in for a treat because I know that he's up for it and he knows I'm up for it. So the fans are in for a treat, to, you know, tomorrow night. Kel, how did you, how did you find making 147 pounds after three fights at 54? I told you I would make that this is the easiest I've made it. I told you it's the easiest I've made it because I've been prepared for this fight. You know, I've, uh, you know, so there's no issue. I've been fueling myself good in training sessions. I've not, this is going to be the best version of me. So if he's thinking that I'm over the hill, this is the best version because I've been fueling myself through every session, you know, and I've come in bang on the limit. I've done everything professional for this fight because this is, this is, this is shit or bust for me. So I know 100% Kel Brook in there is going to take that title. Because I'm giving it all, my everything, you know, and I've prepared unbelievably well. You just know? make sure you, just make sure you write down all your words that you saying. I am, I, you know, listen, I've got no excuses. I'm 100% ready for this fight. Okay. Appreciate that. Terrence, 100%. You, you've been, you've been, peep, you know, you've been ducked by the other top welterweights. They cite business reasons. They make business decisions because it's another network, another promoter. But I was just mentioning, Kel Brook has fought two of those PBC guys. He's one and one. He beat Sean Porter more decisively than Sean Porter's ever been beaten. And he lost to Errol Spence in an excellent fight, and he was very competitive in that fight. He, he so, boxed no one like me. He knows he's not boxed no one like me. I've boxed the, I've boxed the fight he wants to fight in, in, in Errol Spence. I've been in with Golovkin in middleweight. I've been in with these guys, you know. they saying Terrence is the power. They're not me, though. Yeah, this is not you. <laughs> you you think you worry me? I've been in with these guys. Listen. I, I've you seen it. I've seen it before. You Listen. haven't been in guys yeah, I've not, you know, like me. So, so you want being in with guys like me. 
Okay. You don't be any guys like me. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna be in with a guy like me. I'm gonna be in with with you, with you like likewise. But I've been in with guys like you, bigger, stronger guys than you. I mm. be I know what it takes to 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 be the best. Yeah. yeah? Okay. You aren't being in with someone like me. You're gonna All be right. tomorrow night. All right, and we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Yeah. <coughs> Terrence, but what about that? For, for all the criticism you get for, well, you haven't cleaned out welterweight, they haven't gotten in with you, this guy's getting in with you, and he's one and one in the PBC against those elite guys. What is this a chance for you to do? I don't, I don't care. I'm 2-0 versus PBC now. I don't, I don't care about none of that. Who he fought, or I'm not bothered about who, who anybody's who, fought. Me and him are fighting each other. That. Me and him are fighting yeah. each other, and that's right. that. We're not bothered about who's won and who's won. This is a fight with me and him, yeah, and that, that's what's happening tomorrow. You know, it's going to be a thriller. Terrence, Definitely. You, at, at, at the lighter in the lighter weight classes, you were more of a kind of slick boxer. You could switch hit the whole thing. At welterweight, you've been brawling a little bit more, especially in your last fight against Cal Viascus. Why is that, and how are you going to fight Kell Brook? Uh, just, you know, uh, just get my respect. You know, he thinking just because I'm the smaller man, he's going to walk through me. But uh, I guarantee you, once I start laying these hands on him, he's going to think twice. And uh, the fight with Kavalaskis, that was just something that I just put in my head that I wanted to do. You know, a uh, bigger, stronger fighter. You know, um, I don't know, just something that I just wanted to do at that time. Terrence, you look, you've always impressed me, even from the first time I called your fight against Bradis Prescott, which is when you really burst onto the scene. Even when you were kind of more of a slick boxer, you got a mean streak in you. It's like you not just want to outbox them, you want to bully them, you want to punish them. How are you feeling about Kell Brook right now? What kind of fight do you want to fight against him? Man, it don't matter what type of fight uh, we fight. Uh, I'm going to win in whatever fight he want to do. So, you know, uh, whatever type of arsenal he want to bring to the table, I got more. So, you know, he want to box, I got better boxing ability. You know? He want to bang, I got better, better boxing banging uh, than him. He don't fight in the inside. He want he. What, what, what do he want to do that I can't do better? What do you want to do, Kel? What kind of fight do you want to make? If Terrence Crawford is saying what, however he wants to get down, we get down, what kind of fight's it going to be? Exactly the same. Whatever he wants to do, I'm ready for. I'm ready for anything. Trust me, I've put myself through it, and I'm ready for whatever Terrence is going to bring tomorrow night. Hold on. The, hold on. Damn, neither one of you guys wants to dictate what fight it's going to be? You're going to leave it up to the other guy? What kind of fight do you guys want to fight? What, you have to come in with a game plan. You're both versatile, but you must have studied each other and thought, yep, I'm either going to bring it to him or I'm going to do something. What kind of, who wants to dictate this fight? You're going to find out tomorrow night. You know, we don't need to tell you what, what kind of game plan we've got. He's got one, I've got one. You know, you're all going to see what, what unveils, um, um, you know, tomorrow night there's going to be, you know, I think everybody's excited about this fight and uh, they should be. Terrence? I ain't got nothing to say no more. You got nothing. Well, that, that's tough for us because we're, we're on TV talking to you right now. Well, I hope you got well, more well, to say. My thing, well, my thing is, you know, uh, I, didn't, I didn't say it all that I'm going to say to him. You know, he know what he up against tomorrow. You know, uh, he know that this is one of the toughest fights, if not the toughest fight of his career. You know, I don't believe that he's been in the ring with a fighter uh, like me before. Is it the toughest you fight know? of your career, champ? Because I don't because know. Ke is it? Do you think it is? Um, when you look at Cal Brook, do you think this is the biggest challenge in my professional career? When they when they when they yeah, put when they put when they put these he does yeah when they put these challengers up against me, they always say the toughest fight of my career. So I don't know but if you this is going to be the toughest. You can see my eyes know. that this is going to be our toughest fight. Your you? eyes? You know. Both of your eyes is messed up. How am I seeing your eyes and well, you see know. if Come anything on, let's be serious. Let's be serious. You <laughs> know. On, you know. Let's I don't be serious. Know. You know. Well, well, you will, know. well, you will know well, when that bell rings. Well, we, we shall see. Yeah, we will. Well, we shall see. Kel, yeah. he's referring to the fact that against Golovkin, you had I one side. I know what you're referring to. But I'm just telling to. the audience, in case they don't know, that against Golovkin, you had to have essentially surgery on one side of your face, and then after the Spence fight, the other side of your face. And, the re and I'm uh, clarifying that for the audience, but also you fought valiantly and took real risks, especially to move up two divisions against Triple G, and then again to jump right in after a loss with a guy like Spence, there's no doubt. How do you get over the hump against Terrence Crawford, who's on my list the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, not just put up a good fight, but come away with a win? 
we're going to see, aren't we? I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight my heart out tomorrow. And you're going to. I think that's going to be enough. You know, that's all I can say. It's 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 already written. It's already written what's going to happen. I've, <laughs> I've put myself through it in training. You know, so we shall see. It is written. Me victorious. No, me victorious. <laughs> You're right. It is written. Yeah, we'll Why see. Why are you that. laughing, bud? I don't know. I'm getting more and more, you know, relaxed. I feel good. You're not relaxed, you know, brother. You're not relaxed. <laughs> You're not relaxed. And tomorrow we shall see. I'm tomorrow relaxed. Tomorrow we shall see. Uh, he, don't, just, he don't know me. He don't know me. You know, that's the funny thing. You know, he get to... He get to see me and say, "Oh, he's not relaxed, or he's this." Do I look relaxed? But he don't. He don't know. He don't know what's in store for him tomorrow. Terrence, oh, well. um, you, you, you. I asked you a, lot, a bunch throughout the years about pound for pound. Sometimes you play it off like it's not a big deal, but now you have a COVID mask that talks about your pound for pound status. That tells me it is a big deal. Andre Ward brought up the fact that after Lomachenko lost to Lopez, you are now considered more than ever by many, if not most, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. What does that mean in this fight? Is it enough to win or must you look impressive against a seven to one underdog? Oh, listen, like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, you know, it's just a people opinion. I don't really too much get caught up in the pound for pound and whatnot. Um, then why do I you just have a mask that says pound for pound? Because, somebody, because they made it for me. That's why. And <laughs> that's why. They made it for me and I wore it. It really doesn't matter or make a difference to me whether, you know I mean, I wear a mask that says pound for pound or, or not. I've been saying that since day one. You know, I always felt like I was pound for pound number one, you know, prior to Lomachenko being given the number one spot. Now that they gave me the number one spot, you know, it's, it's cool, you know, uh, for people to actually give me my credit. But at the same time, you know, it don't feel no different because I always felt that I was the number one. Kel, you are an excellent fighter, and, and you're a big welterweight, as you said, and your only loss at 47 came to Spence in an excellent fight. And Terrence Crawford did have a tough fight with Calviascus last time out. How do you feel about being such a big underdog? Why do you think you're such a big underdog? Seven to one seems long for a fighter of your caliber. They've obviously got it wrong. They've obviously got it wrong. You know, they, they're not, I don't think they realize that I've been in with two two elite fighters, one a middleweight and one a top welterweight. And the weight killed me for the Spence fight, fighting Golovkin and coming back down. I've known about this for a while. I've, I've managed my weight. I've come on bang on weight. It's no excuse to listen. It, it's a fight. I'm ready. That's all we need to go on about. I'm ready. He's ready. And uh, that's all we can do. Terrence, you talk about, like, whatever he wants to do, we can do. And I, I think you're the best pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. But there's always a danger, or often there's a danger, for top pound-for-pound pound fighters. When they fight a guy with a couple of losses, I asked you, is this the biggest challenger of your career? You said, I don't know, we'll see, of, if not a letdown, almost like a trap game in, in a professional sport for a team, right, where there's, there's, a, there's, there's a way that your adrenaline isn't where it needs to be for a top, top challenge. Where, is, where are you with all that now? If, I know you're not looking past Kell Brook, but you're extremely confident. You told him relaxed. Or do you have the kind of juice you're going to need for a challenge like this, considering he's such a big underdog? Man, listen, you know, I'm up for each and every fight that's put in front of me. Of course, you know, Kell Brook uh, boosts a lot of uh, a drilling and, and spike my, my energy. Uh, he is a, a great talent, and I can't really take nothing away from him. He is a, a former champion, and he have done uh, – great things in, in three fights that he have had with three top fighters. But at the same time, you know, um, I didn't train my ass off like I normally do. And I did everything that I had to do in training camp. So I'm not I'm not really too much focused on Kell Brook. I'm just ready to go out there and, and display and my talent and have fun doing it. Guys, do you have any last words you want to say to each other or the audience before we get out of here? There's, not nothing, there's nothing more much to say. Um, the talking's done. You know, it's all about getting uh, getting ready for uh, the fight now. And uh, I'm sure that we're both ready for this one. I'd like everybody to tune in tomorrow and 
support Team Crawford or Kell Brook, whichever one you support, and watch me put on a tremendous show and retain my WBO welterweight title. Guys, I lied. I lied. There's one more question. This is on ESPN. It's not on pay-per-view. It's not on some kind of inaccessible outlet, right, or, 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 or distribution service. This is you turn on ESPN where you watch Sports Center, where you watch Monday Night Football, and you're going to get the welterweight title fight. What kind of fight do we tell fans to expect tomorrow night? Expect fireworks. Expect masterclass ring craft. You know, uh, spite, you're going to see uh, everything you need to see in a fight like this, you know, so you've got it all. They're going to see it live tomorrow night. Bud? Fireworks. Fourth of July fireworks. Well, I can't wait. Terrence Crawford, Kel Brook, always great talking to both of you guys, always great watching you fight. Cannot wait for tomorrow night. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, thanks. There it is, tomorrow night at 10 p.m. on ESPN. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt. <laughs>